y'all welcome back if you're new hi i'm sheridan and welcome to my channel on this channel we talk about all the things motherhood hair and just life in general so go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you don't miss anything you can keep up with future videos so for the past seven weeks i've been on a breastfeeding journey with my fourth baby and recently i noticed like a couple of days ago i noticed that i've had a dip in my supply it ha it was a slow start to start breastfeeding my milk didn't come in until we got home which was actually like the fourth the third or the fourth day after giving birth um but when it was in when it came in it was in like full with a bang it came in so i've been able to store quite a bit but um, we also started, I, I started using some of the stored milk, but I can admit that it's been my fault. I haven't drank as much water as I should have been drinking and I've chosen to nap instead of eat sometimes. So, you know, you definitely have to keep your body fed and full and ready to produce more milk. So it's definitely dipped and it's definitely been on my account. So this is just me attempting to replenish my supply. Okay, so this is what I pumped during a session last night on the right. I have less than an ounce, y'all. Like, what? I couldn't believe it. This was after 22 minutes of 3 a.m. pumping, and this is what I got. On the left, a little more than one ounce. This is what I caught in the hacka from my first nursing session this morning. I try to start every morning with oats, whether it's a bowl of oatmeal or a smoothie. Almond milk or coconut water also are very beneficial for milk production. Y'all, I never measure how much oatmeal I make. I just make sure that I cover it with almond milk. And if you don't want to use milk, you can definitely always use water. After that, I just pop it in the microwave for about two minutes. And when it's out, I get a little bit of butter. My husband would say it's a lot of butter. But I use a little bit of butter just to enhance the flavor so that I'm not grossed out by what I'm eating. And then after that, I'll just get some brown sugar and sprinkle a little bit on there top it off with some flax seeds just to help break down and give me better digestion break down tummy fat things like that it's also good for milk production as well this is my go-to method for making oatmeal sometimes i'll get festive and throw in some blueberries but other than that this is pretty regular for me And this is my second bottle of water for the day. I am constantly, constantly, constantly drinking water. I don't know how much bottled water we go through in this house, but it's definitely a lot. After breakfast is usually when I have my first pump session of the day. So I figured I'd throw in a clip of how I store my breast milk. So this is basically just how I measure, save, and store my breast milk after pumping or after nursing and catching it with the hacka. I just measure everything, combine it, and then label the bags. I started labeling the bags because my husband had no idea how much was in each bag, so we were losing a lot of milk that way. So this is just how I store and measure all of that milk. So I was really surprised that I was able to get four and a half ounces in this pump session. I was really not expecting to get four ounces combined because of how low my supply had been, but it's definitely better than getting one ounce, I'll tell you that. For milk storage, I use the Medela brand Milk Saver bag. I love these bags. They are sturdy and thick, and they're also very affordable. So when I'm storing milk, I want to keep out as much air as possible because I want my milk bags to lay as flat as they possibly can to allow me more space in the freezer to add more bags. So I just squeeze out all of the air as I'm zipping clothes. I'll zip up most of the zipper seal and then leave a little pocket to push out air. And that'll give me a nice flat seal whenever I lay my bag down in the freezer. I am now 
now filling up bin number two with milk. Hey, I got these bins from Dollar Tree and honestly, I'm surprised at how fast they filled up. I tend to make a mess when I'm looking for the right amount of breast milk. So this is just me reorganizing the bin, getting everything pretty flat so that I can set the second bin on top without everything just spilling out and making a mess all over the freezer. So it's lunch time and I decided I wanted a salad. Um, I had to run out to Panera Bread to go get a salad because we didn't have any salad stuff at home. So hubby fixed me a salad while I was feeding the baby. And this is just their version of like a Southwest salad. And of course topping it off with a bottle of water. So we woke up from a nap, well I did, he's still sleeping and I just grabbed a quick little snack. I grabbed some lactation cookies and these are the brand uh, Munchkin. I can link them down below for you guys. And of course I had that with some water. So after that I did a quick 15 minute pump session and I got good results coming out of the hacker and the pump so I was very pleased. And so this is just me transferring the breast milk that I had in the freezer door to the bin so that I could add the neck, the milk that I just pumped into the freezer door to flatten so I can add it to the bin next. So it's well into the evening now and I'm just going to make some tea. I like having the tea late at night because it can kind of give me a calm down and it's not so energetic that I have to be up all night but it's really relaxing as well as fulfilling. I love the results that I get from this tea. Okay, so here are the results. So this is after about a day or so, and this is what I caught in the hacker, and this is what I pumped after my nursing session this morning. So from one ounce and less than one ounce, after nursing to five ounces and two ounces, I have definitely replenished my supply, and I'm definitely happy about that because I didn't want to stop nursing yet. So some things I didn't catch in this video was my intake of body armor, um, you know, body armor drinks, um, like the fruit punch. My favorite one is the pineapple coconut. It's so good. I also love the peach mango, but those drinks are very low calorie and they're so good. So I would drink those like in the car, going to pick up the kids from school just to, you know, keep going and keep my body going. I probably drank one of those a day, maybe two sometimes. So my first attempt at this video, I tried power pumping because that was very suggested. Everywhere you look, it says power pump, power pump. That's an unattainable goal for me. I have four kids with two under two and it just isn't manageable for me. Um, I also tried brewer's, brewer's yeast. Brewer, brewer's yeast. I also tried brewer's yeast and that felt like it actually reduced my supply. I felt like I was actually producing less, which was awful. So with no results, I scrapped that footage and I stuck to the things that I knew worked for me, which was 
all of the stuff you just got in this video. I definitely hope this helped you guys. Maybe you know someone who's nursing. Maybe you know someone who needs help um, replenishing their supply. Share this video with them. Share this to all the mamas, whether they're nursing, whether they're expecting. Send it to them. If you like this video, if you found this information helpful, if you enjoyed watching it, who knows? Comment if you felt like there was something else that I could have tried that I should have tried. Maybe you have some more information other than the brewer's yeast. Um, I know there's tons of other supplements. There's tons of other um, products that people are using. There's definitely other ways to produce more milk. These are just what works for me. And if you're a simple kind of minimal person, this is definitely the route to go because all of these steps are easy. All of these steps will fit into your daily routine. So thank you guys for watching and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.